Hi, in this demo I'll show you how you can provide multi-factor authentication to AWS workspaces. And we can do this in different contexts, including login, privilege elevation, or screen uh, lockout. So um, what we need from an infrastructure perspective is a Centrify connector. In this case I have a Centrify connector, and you need to make sure that the um, subnets that are uh, hosting your workspaces can communicate where the cloud connector is. I've also laid out an authentication profile that is going to allow all these step-up methods. Finally, I have a workspace, right? I'm using Simple ID as my directory service. I had to um, enable the AD bridge because ultimately machines will authenticate via Kerberos to be able to negotiate on behalf of the user. I also have a workspace that has been assigned to my user Lisa. So uh, let's take a look at the experience. So I'm going to pull in my Amazon Workspaces and I'm going to put in my password. And what you'll notice is that this is going to take me into that VDI session. One of the things that I've done is, is that I've uh, laid out the authentication provider so I get challenged um, a second time here. So what you'll see is that Lisa has been challenged. In this case, I'm going to type in my user, my password. It's connecting to the authentication service. And now I have notice that I have different options. I can use email, SMS, phone call, and whatnot. But I, I have my mobile authenticator set up. And I have my phone on the right of the screen. And notice that I have this workflow. I can go ahead and approve it. And once approved, um, I'll be able to log in. Uh, and I'm able to provide multi-factor authentication at login. This is important because of the context of um, being able to provide identity assurance. There's other use cases, like for example, being able to run an application with privilege. You can lay out your applications or desktops to prompt for multi-factor authentication. Another use case could be a screen lockout. For example, I have to go away from my screen, right? And I need to come back. When I come back, I unlock my machine. Right, and I'm going to go through the same cadence. Right, for example, I could use a different uh, factor. Let's just say a phone call. So in this case, I'm expecting a phone call at this phone. So, speaker. So now I'm able to log in and notice that I also have the ability to set up an offline passcode just in case, um, and this will be an OTP that I can set up just in case there's no communication with the upstream services. In addition, what you'll see is that if we inspect the event log, is that all the multi-factor authentication and obviously and also Centrify related events will be in the event log and the application log. For example, what you see here <coughs> is that we have you know, multi-factor authentication events here. Challenge succeeded. And if I were to, you know, uh, to fail any of them, uh, this will be in the logs as well. And uh, this is how you can leverage your Centrify identity service or privilege service to provide multi-factor authentication for Amazon Workspaces at login, privilege elevation, or screensaver unlock.